welcome welcome back to another video in this video i will be talking about the best phones for gaming play faster and better so far in 2022 now there are a lot of excellent options if you're looking for a phone for gaming now you could argue that almost every smartphone is a gaming phone of some kind but what if you want the smoothest performance so, in this video, I will be showing you the best gaming phones so far in 2022. So make sure to watch this video till the end and if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video. On number 1, we have the Asus ROG Phone 6 series. Now, the ROG Phone 6 series consists of two phones. The first is the ROG Phone 6 Pro, which is the best of the two. It has everything a gamer needs, including a large 6.78 inch display with 165Hz refresh rate, a massive 6000 battery with 65W charging, and great performance thanks to Snapdragon's latest chipset paired with 18 GB of RAM. The device comes with ultrasonic air triggers that are fully customizable in terms of sensitivity and button mapping. To level up your gaming experience, you can also get various accessories like SS Aero Active Cooler 6 that does a great job cooling down the handset when playing games for a long time on the Kunai 3 controller that makes the gaming experience more enjoyable for most people. The second device in this series is the Roach Phone 6 which is more or less identical to the Pro model. The only two differences are that it tops out at 16GB of RAM instead of 18GB and it lacks a secondary rear display which is capable of displaying the time, text messages, logos and other simple things. The faults are not perfect though as they lack wireless charging and have a limited IPX4 rating. Regardless, they are still among the best if not the best gaming phones you can currently get. On number 2 we have the Black Shark 5 Pro. The Black Shark 5 Pro is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 chipset that can handle just about any game out there when paired with as much as 16 GB of frame. It features dual VC liquid cooling plates that have a new anti-gravity feature designed to improve the circulation of the cooling liquid. The processor, battery and 5G antenna are directly connected to the cooling plate via copper alloy design which should help provide superior heat dissipation and keep the phone cool enough to run at peak performance. The handset sports magnetic triggers giving gamers a tactile controller feel rather than relying solely on screen controls. It packs a 4650mAh battery with 120W charging that gets the phone from 0 to 4 in just 15 minutes according to the company. Other specs and features worth pointing out include a 6.67 inch display with 144Hz refresh rate, 3 rear cameras and a side mounted fingerprint scanner. Now the next one is Nubia Red Magic 7. If you're looking for one of the best gaming phones that's little easier on the wallet, the Nubia Red Magic 7 will tick a lot of boxes. Designed for gaming first and foremost, it has the high-end Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 processor, up to 16 GB of RAM, active cooling, shoulder triggers, and a blazing fast 165Hz AMOLED display. That active cooling feature is also a huge upgrade over last year's Red Magic 6, with the company promising 400 times better heat dissipation and absorption. It even has a headphone jack. But the real kicker is that it costs less than half the sticker price of some of its brand name competitors. Starting at just $629 is just a hair more expensive than many upper mid-range phones. With the specs that punch well above that, you don't get the same commitment to updates or camera performance. But for pure gaming, it's a killer device. Now the next one we have OnePlus 10 Pro. Now OnePlus is a perennial favorite of our viewers and for good reason. These phones might not offer the same level of value as they have in the past, but they combine great hardware with great software in a way that's sure to please. 2022 only features one model in global market, the OnePlus 10 Pro. Much like last year's OnePlus 9 Pro, it earns a spot among the best gaming phones with a powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 processor, up to 12GB of RAM and a gorgeous 120Hz AMOLED display. 
like a Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 phones. It will run hot when gaming. That will reduce your overall battery life. But thankfully, it includes a fast charger in the box. There is some minor controversy. When OnePlus announced charging speeds are lower in the US than outside the US, 65 watt versus 80 watt. But rest assured that the difference is a matter of only a few minutes charging time. On number 5, we have the Samsung Galaxy A22 series. Samsung's 2022 flagships are not branded as gaming phones, but they are true powerhouses that offer exactly what most gamers need in a handset. Like the previous generations, the lineup includes the Samsung Galaxy A22 and A22 Plus, a super premium A22 Ultra. All three Galaxy A22 models offer top of the line specs, including adaptive 120Hz AMOLED displays, Snapdragon 8 Generation 1, or Exynos 2200 processors, and excellent battery life. The S20 Ultra is obviously the most powerful of the bunch with an extremely versatile camera setup and just like last year, Ace Pen support. Only this time, the Ace Pen is integrated into the body of the device. Galaxy Note fans rejoice, it is not just about the hardware either. All three models offer Samsung's game launcher and game tools options, allowing you to tweak performance in individual games. The game tools suite also lets you easily adjust resolution, take screenshots, record videos and more. None of these phones are cheap, but any of the Samsung Galaxy A22 phones are a great choice for those looking for one of the best gaming phones you can buy. If you want to save a bit of money, you can also wait until the summer for the inevitable Galaxy A22 FE model, which should offer the same specs at a slightly lower price point. That said, recent rumors suggest that the Galaxy 22 FE might use a MediaTek chipset instead, which might mean it takes a hit when gaming. On number 6, we have the Xiaomi 12 series. Xiaomi has long had great flagship contenders in its MI series, and this year the company has dropped the MI moniker for its Xiaomi 12 series lineup. There is no ultra model yet, but the other two premium phones in the lineup have what it takes to compete with the best from Samsung, Apple, and others. The top of the line Xiaomi 12 Pro is the 22 flagship through and through. It has a Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 processor up to 12 GB of RAM and 120 Hz WQHD AMOLED screen. The sizable 4700 image battery is a bit smaller than the MI11, but the speedy 120W wide charging or 50W wireless charging more than make up for it. On the more affordable side, the Xiaomi 12 hits many of the same points. The only major compromises with respect to the Pro version are slower charging speeds and weaker camera sensors, neither of which are a deal breaker when shopping for the best gaming phones. It also undercuts the Samsung Galaxy S22 in price, making it a very attractive alternative. The same cannot be said about the Xiaomi 12X, which swaps out its processor for Snapdragon 870. It is still powerful enough to play the vast majority of games, but it might not fare so well in a few years' time. Still, at roughly $650, you'll struggle to find such great value anywhere else. Now on number 7 and the last one, we have POCO F4 GT. Like the idea of a powerful gaming phone but don't want to spend a ton of cash, well, that's where the POCO F4 GT comes in, starting at 600 euro that makes it cheaper than other gaming focused phones on this list. Aside from the flagship silicone here, POCO's phone also offers a pair of retractable shoulder buttons for use in games, stores in a 4700mAh battery with 120W charging, quad speakers and a 120Hz OLED panel and you have got a great device for mobile gaming. There are two downsides to the POCO F4 GT though. The first is the lack of US availability, while the second are the disappointing secondary cameras. Regardless, this is still one of the best gaming phones you can get. Uh, thank you so much for being with us so far. I hope you have enjoyed the list and make sure to let me know in the comments which phone you want to buy. And don't forget to check out the links in the description for the price info. Hit the subscribe button and stay tuned.